So the virus leaves uh, with the infection, the tip of the spike protein in the human body, Bruce Patterson in Cell DX has shown it's in there at least a year and a half or longer. The spike protein causes damage to the body. It causes long COVID symptoms, causes blood clots. Drew, I had a patient today, a young man, 23, paramedic. He, he got COVID. He didn't take the vaccine, just COVID. Blood clot in the arm. Uh, he had to have extraction, yeah. uh, first rib removal, thoracic outlet mm. problems. His arm is not the same. So we had COVID, but we measure the antibodies to the spike protein. This is very important. Mm. So the antibodies yeah. are an indirect proxy of how much spike protein is in the body. His were markedly elevated. You can order it yourself on LabCorp. Go to LabCorp uh, Labs on Demand. Click over to Infectious Diseases. Click on COVID antibody. Pay $69 and get your own test because some doctors are refusing to get it. There's multiple studies showing the test is prognostic. If it's less than 1,000 units per ml, very low risk, that's my, fits with my clinical experience. Over 5,000 on that number, we're starting to see spike protein in the bloodstream. The his was, I think, well over 10,000. That's where we use ultimate spike detox, natokinase, bromelain, and curcumin in combination. This is an over-the-counter supplement, but in high dose, to clear spike protein from the blood. Now, he was on a blood thinner, Eliquis, for about eight months, the ultimate spike detox. In addition, where we watch for uh, risks of bleeding, and now he's much better, his symptoms are much better, and he's on the road to recovery.